here we go hi well hello friends and welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing a day seven q and a and today is the day that kind of got away from me unfortunately um i woke up like hella early i mean if you guys watch me on insta or watch me follow me on instagram you would have seen some stories of me up at like 3 30 in the morning doing laundry because i could not sleep um i've had trouble sleeping lately and that's just because of like a bunch of drug interactions that i have to take for my stomach problems anyway um but what happened was i was up for quite a while and then i laid back down and didn't wake up until four so yeah um kind of strange because doyle did not bother me the whole time or i didn't hear him i don't know but he was a good boy so that worked out well but on instagram last night yeah last night i asked you guys um if you wanted to do a little q a and a bunch of you said yes and then submitted some questions so i figured i would get to your questions i just screenshotted the questions i have not like read through them or anything yet so this will be on the fly all right so yeah i screenshotted a bunch of your questions and i've got a few pages of them so i will answer as many as i can today first question is how did you get started making videos were you worried people you knew would find you um okay so how i got started making videos is i was a huge fan of youtube and saw all these other people making content and i thought well, I can do that. I can figure that out. So um, I did. And I started doing it when I was living in Fargo, North Dakota, and really didn't have anything else to do with my time besides work. So I decided that's what I wanted. Or that's what I wanted to try to do. And was I worried people were going to find me? No, not really. I mean, I wasn't making anything that I was embarrassed about or self-conscious about or anything like that. So, um, you know, my philosophy like with these videos is would I be embarrassed if my grandmother watched them? And the answer is no. So I don't care. <laughs> um, yeah, you tend to care less. Like, I tend to care less every single year that I'm alive. So, um, you know, to each their own, if someone wants to, you know, put themselves out there, you know, good for them. And I totally understand that people don't want to do that too. And it makes them uh, really apprehensive and self-conscious. And I get that as well. So to answer the question, no, I was never worried if people were going to find me or not. So that's fine. The next question is, is the EC planner the only planner you have used and would you ever use a pocket size or a personal size planner? Well, the answer is no. EC is not the only planner I have ever used. Um, back in the Dizzy, like before social media, <laughs> I used um, a very small planner and it was actually like my wallet as well. And I believe that I got it from well, I had one originally that was from like Office Max or Office Depot that was like the day timer one. Um, and then I upgraded it to one from Franklin Covey uh, about a year or two after that. Um, but again, it like held my entire life. It had all my contacts. It had all of my um, IDs and credit cards and all of that in there. And this was back in the day when I had credit cards. Um, and then my schedule and you know my month at a glance kind of a thing and i only used like the little month at a glance it was very small so um anyway then i got out of using that and then into basically doing nothing for a schedule at all <laughs> which wasn't good i used my phone like my just like iphone calendar app and it just really didn't work for me and then um i found people on youtube doing plan with me videos and things like that and i was like oh my gosh that's kind of what i need to do um you know i need to get a planner and how fun would it be to you know, decorate it and things like that. So that's kind of how I got into Erin Condren um, is because I watched a ton of planner videos with a ton of different types of products and I thought that the Erin Condren one um, was more, was the most suited for me. And would I ever go back to the smaller one? Maybe, maybe. But to be honest, with my lifestyle, I don't take my planner out of my office. Like my planner is sitting right here. I will show you right now. 
dun, 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 dun. this is my planner i have the um ring bound binder this year and i absolutely love it and um it doesn't go anywhere it just stays right on my desk i don't take it anywhere with me i don't need to take it anywhere because my normal like working schedule is very very normal um it doesn't fluctuate too much um really the only thing i have to be considerate of is like appointments and things like that and that's why I just leave it laying out. And then so like next week, um, then, you know, I'll go into this. And then I still, I have stuff laid out for next week already because I have some appointments and things like that. So anyway, um, yeah, I probably wouldn't go to a smaller one unless I needed to carry it with me daily. Um, okay, so this person asks, will you ever move out of Minnesota and where would you go? The, the answer is definitely yes, I would move out of Minnesota. Um, I would love to retire in this really, well, it's not a super small town. It's a smaller town. Um, it's called Wilmington, North Carolina. I actually lived there for a year and the weather and atmosphere and people were awesome and amazing and the lifestyle there is very laid back and I absolutely love it. So if you're living in Wilmington, North Carolina, like I envy you so much. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a great place and it's not too hot. Um, I know people have asked before, like, would I ever move to Florida to be closer to my parents? And the answer is no, it is way too hot there. I can't, I can't handle that. I am not built for super, super hot weather all the time. So, um, that would be a no, but yeah, I would like to, um, be on the East coast when I retire or after I retire, um, and not, you know, live in a cold environment, I guess. Um, but I do love Minnesota. I like that it has all four seasons, but, um, I could do without the winter some some seasons. <laughs> um, okay, so I have another question actually about cold weather. It says, favorite cold weather clothes? New England winter just started and I'm cold already. So uh, first things first, layers, layers, let me tell you. Um, layers are great. Also a good winter jacket. Um, I tend, and this is super weird, but I tend not to wear a jacket in the winter and I know that is kind of cray cray but here's the reasoning of why. I drive an hour commute to and then from work. So when I get in the car, my heat is on and I get so incredibly hot in the car. Um, so I tend not to wear a jacket. Like I'll wear, like not this, but I'll wear something with long sleeves that's cozy, like a sweatshirt or whatever, um, because my office is very, very casual. So I will do that, but I don't tend to wear a jacket. And if I do tend to wear anything, um, at all, it's usually like a puffer vest. That works well for me. Also an automatic start on your vehicle is amazing. Um, so I do have that on my vehicle and that was like, I got that maybe a month or two after I purchased my vehicle, like more than a decade ago now. So um, yeah, but it's, it's, it's a great thing and I absolutely love it. And even if I have to go shopping or like, you know, go to a store, go to the grocery store or something like that, I'm only outside for just maybe a minute, maybe two, depending on how long it takes me to walk into the establishment. So I'm not really outside for a long time. And then if I'm walking Doyle, uh, I will put on like, you know, a hat and gloves and a scarf. And then I have like winter like walking jackets as well. Also for snow, um, Sorel, I think it's S-O-R-E-L is the brand name. Their boots are kind of amazing. I've been wearing them since I was a little kid and I love them and I have, I think I got a new pair, what was it, last year? Maybe the year before? Um, but I love them, they're so nice and they're so nice to um, have for walking Doyle. They have really great traction, so if you are walking a dog or you know, even to do like snow removal, um, you know, or whatever. Uh, it's really nice because you don't slip and slide too much. I mean, you still can, but it's, it's not, it's not that bad. So anyway, those are my favorite, um, cold weather clothing items. I don't know. Lots of layers, lots of layers. <laughs> One of my coworkers wrote, who is your favorite horse assistant? Duh, Susan. Uh, next question. Top five planner sticker shops. Ooh. Okay. Well, 
The first two that come to mind are the first two that I have like actual binders of, which is crazy. Um, but so I have a whole binder right here of coffee break planner, which I love. Link is below. There's also a little discount code for you if you want 20% off. I've also got another binder full of Chrissy and Designs stickers. Again, link is below. And then, ooh, so if I had to pick three other shops, hmm, hmm, okay, so it says sticker shop, so not washi, okay. I'm really into Plannertopia, which I will put a link down below for you guys. Oh god, there's so many, it's like so hard to pick. I really love Wonton and a Million, love her stuff. And then I think I would say Plan to Plan Sticker Co. Love, love that shop as well. I don't know, I like a lot of different things. So, I mean, it kind of just depends like if you want to be more decorative or if you want to be more functional. And some of those shops are decorative and functional and some are just decorative and you know, all that good stuff. So, um, next question is actually best sticker shops. Uh, per my last email, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the last question really answers that. Um, okay, and then my friend Jen says, how excited for Go Wild 2020 are you? Oh, I'm so pumped, so, so excited. I actually was um, texting with Ryan from A Man With The Plans. If you wanna see more about Ryan, I will link wherever it goes, uh, link his channel up above. For you. Um, so Ryan and I are going this year. I'm so, so excited. Um, last year, Jody from Life's Organized Chaos came with us, but sadly she has a work commitment um, during that weekend, which has her out of town as well. So sadly she can't come, but Ryan and I are gonna be there. We are so, so excited to go to Anaheim, California. We are gonna do Disney one day. Um, so that'll be really exciting. And again, we'll be vlogging the whole series and putting it up on the interwebs for you guys. But I'm very, very excited to see um, some friends that clearly are internet friends um, and I haven't seen them for a really long time. So yeah, I think it'll just, ugh, it'll be so fun. And I think Ryan and I are getting together sometime this month and we are going to possibly chat about like go wild and things like that too. But as we get closer, we'll, you know, chat more. Okay, so that is going to be it for the q and A. I want to cut it a little bit short here so this video isn't like hella long for you guys. So anyway, um, if you have any additional questions, you can put them right down below. I might do another q and A during this vlogging series. You never know. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see y'all in the next vlog. Bye guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel.